All right. All right. All right, my name is Samir Linda, I work for San Jose and Toyota. So we'll be discussing the new 2014 Toyota Highlander Limited. I got a customer walking in right now. Watch me in action, here we go. Hey sir, how you doing? Hi, my name is Samir Linda, I work for San Jose and Toyota. Okay, what's your name? All right, uh, so you, you got, got the, this yes sir. Matter of fact, I got the key right in my pocket. You follow me, I can show you a couple features about the car. Excellent choice though. Yes, it's a beautiful car. Well, you see, this car has a smart key. Okay. The smart key means um, you never can worry about taking the key out of your pocket, for example. Are you a family man? You got a wife? All right. Say so your wife has a key that's in her purse. She's in her purse. She comes to the door handle, puts her hand here, look, opens automatically. Right now, it's set only to one door. So this is still locked. But now, say you with your kids. I learned this, this trick in training. You got this smart key, hold it for a couple seconds. It's going to beep. Right, now you come to the door, put your hand here, Sorry. try that again, all right, no, not opening, okay, sorry, so now you see that opens all four doors, so you can play around and go back and forth if you wanted to, now the lock is real simple, touch that, you get to go, now, if you want to do it the old school way, you can do it normally just like this, and lock it just like that. As you see, you got the turning signal outside the mirror. And you can say you're parking somewhere outside in the street. I don't know if you're, if you're parking in the driveway. You can fold it in, or you can fold it up. As you can see, we got the five, um, um, 19 inch five spoke wheels, alloy wheels. You don't got to worry about it coming off. Um, you got all season tires, so they're good for the snow, dirt, when it rains. Um, the car's full with drive, so you don't got to worry about getting stuck anywhere. Um, as you can see, they, they totally redesigned the car. Um, it's all little features on this side, they're going to throw on the other side. For example, you got a way power seat. So you can go back, tilt this up, tilt it back. Also, you got back for this support for your lumbar support for your back. Now, the new thing they added this year, that I like it personally myself, is that you see I put it all the way back. Now, this part right here, this will go up and down. So, depending on your seat, matter of fact, see, can you have a seat for a second? What is your, your position that you like to be in? That's fine? Okay. The good thing about this car is, say you and your wife switching cars, you can put a memory seat in, get this right here, and then as soon as you come in, hit the button, it goes right to your settings. You're not going to go about setting it. You know how my wife puts it right there, close to the screen, like this. So you know how it is. <laughs> so, um, as you can see, I don't know if you noticed the glance, you got a JB audio system. That's the number one audio system that Toyota has that we use. Um, so. Me personally, I have a, a 4Runner Limited, so I have the JBL compared to other cars I had. It's the most clear sounding system we have here. Um, so now, it's a big truck. Say, you do got a backup camera here, but say, for example, you can't see certain the blind spots, you got a blind spot monitor outside. So for example, say you're, you're driving down the highway, right? And then, you know, somebody's coming to the side, you want to make a turn. There's a button here, you can turn it on on and off, so you have the ability, in case it gets annoying, but this is good like the driving suit. You wanna make a turn, somebody come, it'll beep. It'll flash right here. As you can see, there's two cars right there. It'll flash right here. So it's a great thing to have, because sometimes you don't catch all the corners, so. Okay, now, say you're backing up, and you can't really see the back camera, you can You can also get a park assist right here. So a park assist, you hit the park assist, and then while you're going back, when you get too close, it'll start beeping. Letting you know you're getting close to something. Now, another button I really like here is the ice defroster. So for example, you got the normal defrost here in the front. Now, say the, the morning when you wake up when there's snow, a lot of snow on the glass, you hit this button and it'll, might, it'll melt right off in two seconds. Now, I know you're noticing over here. Over here, this is a new setup they did. You know, sometimes you, get, you had the cell phone charger over here, so you put the cell phone there and then the wire comes out. Now they made a new thing for the new 2014 Highlander. You can put your phone here and put the wire through here and you can hide it there. So it never shows up. It looks more classier. As you can see, this is the new um, metal console. It's called the pocket sword. So your wife will love it. Right. For example, most people with your wife because then when she puts her person on the floor in the back side, right there in the seat. If something happens, you make a sharp turn. It falls on the ground. Everything falls out of the chair. Now what they did is they made it more convenient. As you can see, there's a lot of storage. You can drop the purse, throw it in there, and she's good to go. Good to go. Or if you got your stuff in there, okay. 
Also, you got heating and cooling seats. The heating and cooling seats is real cool. For the, like, if you get a remote starter with the car, some of them do come standard with it. Um, you can charge your car from the inside, leave it cooling in the summertime. So you do kids, your kids come in the car, they won't be like, oh, daddy, um, my legs are cold. So, I mean, legs are hot. It's burning from the other seats. So, that's it. And then in the winter time, you can heat up your car, get the heated seats going on before you come in the car. Um, you got an eight inch touchscreen radio with a Bluetooth backup camera, navigation, Entune. You ever heard of Entune? Yeah. Okay, you've been okay? Entune, yeah, it's a great feature. If you have a smartphone, you can um, connect your phone to the car and you can use the same application on your phone you can use on, 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 the, on, on the car. So, and a new feature they have now, you can play Blu ray disc DVD, so your kids will love it. Right. Yeah, so you can put in, you know, Mickey Mouse, all the shows that I've put in right there in Blu ray. So, to your technology is risen up from the previous generations. Um, yeah, you can also drive the car manual shift with no clutch. So you can shift around if you wanted to, parent. If you don't, it shifts automatically itself. Um, okay, so over here you got dual climate control. So your wife control her side temperature, you control it there. For example, if you're by yourself, you said sync and it'll go right together as one. Um, you got downhill assist control. On this truck, it doesn't happen, but you can put a tow hitch in the back. So you put a tow hitch in the back, say you're driving down a steep hill, you hit the DAC button, the car drives itself at three miles per hour. As soon as you hit the brake or gas, it shuts automatically. It's good to have in case you ever need it. Um, now, there's a four-wheel lock button right here. Compared to the previous generations where it's full-time four-wheel drive, this one's part-time four-wheel drive now, so it saves you a little bit on gas. That's a good thing. But now, you say you get stuck in the snow, you're stuck in the mud, you want to get out. You hit this button right here, you lock in the four-wheel drive, it'll show you right there on the screen, and you're good to go, but it's not just to drive at high speeds with that on. Okay? And then you got a snow button. This button, I love this button. So say you're driving on the, on the road, it starts snowing a lot. You, need, you feel like you need more traction on the road. You hit the snow button right here, it gives you more traction. And the last button to the left is the traction control button. You never gotta take it off. The only time I say to take it off is if you hit the forward drive and the tires in the back still keep spinning, hit that button and it'll take off the traction. It should be a lot easier to get out the snow. Now, one other little thing nobody really talks about, a little button on top of the parking right there. That's a clip, for example, Hopefully it never happens, but say you run out of gas, you gotta move the car, you can't shift into neutral. You clip off this button right here, and then you hit the button, you can shift into neutral with no keys or nothing. So in the case of emergency. Okay? Power lift gate, fine power monitor, emergency brake, your gas release, change holder, you got a telescopic wheel, you can move the wheel up and down, front and back. You got a push start. So to push start, you ever had a push start before? Okay, the good thing about push start, you never have to worry about locking the keys in the car. So for example, if I throw the keys in there and I run out the car and I try to lock it, it won't lock. So that's a good thing. You never worry about that. And to turn it on, you put your foot on the brake and hit the gas. You got your rear wipers, front wipers, daytime running lights, LED lights. I forgot to mention in the front. You got LED lights. Just, they're brighter and last longer. Um, you got fog lights also. You got your radio controls on the steering wheel. You got Bluetooth. You can pick up the, the phone calls from the steering wheel also. Um, yeah, if you want, let me show you some other features. Can you follow me for a second? You can see, look at how heavy the door is when I slam the door. That's a strong door. Right there. Yeah, yeah. Now, as you can see, this is uh, limited, so they made a little class here, so you have the captain chairs. On other models, we have the van chair, so it's a seven passenger. I know your wife doesn't want the minivan, so you know this is a, another option for the minivan. I would suggest it. Now, to, to get in and out is really simple. You're going like this, you put in, yeah, slide in there. See, look at me. I'm a big guy. And I still got room in the back. And I still got room, you see? So it's not only for kids. So if you need adults, you can also do it. And then to lift it up, you see, you pull this right here. Really simple. Really, really simple. All right, and then put it back. Now, for example, say you go to Home Depot, Lowe's, you need to carry some wood or something, and you want to fold this down. You could if you wanted to. It goes all the way flat. I'll show you back here. It's really simple. You pull this right here, pull this down, and you hold it flat. So you can do both sides if you want to. It's called a 60 40 split. You can do one side at a time. As you can see, I don't know if you noticed, the, you see it's all the, the previous generations, the back space was a little smaller. So people had trouble putting their, their, their car carriages in there. So it's a little bit bigger. Um, under here, if you're wondering, is your jacking tools, your spare tires under here. 
the good thing about buying Toyota is Toyota gives you a lot for your money. So you get a two year roadside assistance. So if you do if you do um or run out of gas, go a tire, any reason you call one hundred number, they'll be for free for two years. Okay? If to bring it back, let me see, show you down like this real simple. Now if you wanted to, you can put this here. And it's like you got a four passenger if you want to, like that. Okay? And pull this back right here, real simple. Boom. This goes all the way, so if you got somebody to tow it, you can put the seat position, the headrest to your position by hitting this button right here. Okay. One thing I like about this has a power lift gate. So now everybody wants to reach up and pull it down. You gotta hit this button right here. 